I want to describe why it is that I have an underlying fuming anger towards many of the concepts that third wave feminists seem to shove forth so much. Prior to August of 2013, I was a barely functioning person in many ways, but particularly in any sort of social setting. When I was around the public at all. I was constantly scared that something I might, a way that I might look at someone, something that I might say, something I might do would offend people. I lived my life in complete fear, absolute and total fear. Fear that, again, that I would maybe offend someone or make someone uncomfortable. I had huge lists in my head of every, whenever I would come in contact with any person of things not to do. Huge lists that completely crippled me as a person. It crippled my mind. It crippled my ability to do anything. Again, I was a non-functioning person. The best that I could do prior to August of 2013 was, let's get on Second Life. Let's make videos on YouTube and try to talk about what is on my mind. But actual socializing, actually getting out there and doing something, I could not function. And when I was on a job site, the longest I could hold work ever was three months. And the panic, anxiety, and fear would destroy every job that I had. I have done a lot of recovering since August of 2013. In August of 2013, I learned that my conscience, my own conscience is my own, and that I have the right to my own conscience. I have the right to my own standards. I have the right to my own thoughts. I have the right to think of things outside the standard way that society tries to shove forth that we are supposed to be. That I have the right to do that. The transformation that happened to me in August of 2013 was nothing short of a miracle. Nothing short of a miracle. But here it is. I'm seeing third wave feminists shove forth for people to be exactly the way that I was when I was a completely non-functional person. This, these messages are at least 10 times as damaging as organized Abrahamic beliefs. Because at least organized Abrahamic beliefs have a set of dogma and things that you shouldn't do and shouldn't think about. That the primary thing that it affects is what happens to you after you die. It's what happens to you in this fairy tale vision of things. Not this life. Third wave feminism says that you're a terrible person unless you follow this strict set 
of guidelines, of ways of looking at people. Literally, as far as, you know, the way you actually with your eyes look at people, the way you think of people, the way you relate to people, the way you talk to people. A strict set of guidelines. And if you don't follow them, you're misogynistic, you're a rape apologist, you hate women, and you don't care if women get assaulted or killed or whatever, that whatever bullshit thing that they like to say towards people who feel that they shouldn't have to follow these strict sets of rules, these strict guidelines. Telling someone that to sexually objectify someone makes you a bad person is a terrible thing to do to somebody, particularly because it is a natural thing that we do. We are animals. There's no getting around the fact that we are animals. And as long as what we are doing, as long as we are not directly doing something to somebody, it really shouldn't fucking matter. If we are not purposely going out of our way to hurt people, we are not purposely going out of our way to make those who have done nothing to us uncomfortable. We're not going out of our way to do something to people who have done nothing to us to make them extremely offended. Then it shouldn't fucking matter. It is up to the people who take offense to things. It is up to people who are uncomfortable with certain things to state that they are uncomfortable. It is not up to the people who are not trying to hurt anyone to worry and live in fear. It is not up to those people. It is up to those who, are, who have been hurt or who, are, who have been taught that men are this. It is up to them to state that they are uncomfortable. And the people that are reasonable will be like, okay, I see you're uncomfortable with this. I will try to take that into consideration when dealing with you in the future. But they should not have to assume that everyone, that all women feel like, feel this way about men. Religious dogma is something to be kind of pissy about. But at least there's some sort of, at least it follows some sort of logic of there's this religious book that says you'll burn in hell unless you do this. At least there's almost a sort of logic to it. With third wave feminism, there isn't that logic behind it. It's just, you're a bad person because you're a bad person. You're a bad person unless you follow the strict set of guidelines. And I'll tell you one thing. I will never, ever live my life in fear like what my entire life was prior to August of 2013. I will never, ever live my life in fear like that ever again. Ever. So now you know why I get particularly angry when I see third wave feminists saying for people to be exactly the way I was prior to August of 2013. You think that, that people, 
There are people that get really angry at, at Christians for shoving forth their dogma down people's throats because it hurts people. The sort of message that third wave feminists are pushing out hurt me much, much more than any religion. Than any religion ever has, actually. I got raped in church at a, at a Sunday school for a year when I was eight. And yet I still feel this way. I still feel that I was I that the messages that come from third wave feminism hurt me more. Am I biased? Damn right I am. I will not live my life which wasn't really living my life like I was in all the years prior to August of 2013. Never.